Day two continues at the Carbach Round Rock Classic from Dell Diamond in Round Rock, Texas. Our nightcap features the Sam Houston Bearcats and the Kansas State Wildcats. Welcome in to the booth, Chris Mikoski alongside Kyle Peterson and Chris Burke. And Chris, we'll start with you and Sam Houston. Their bats on fire yesterday. 15 hits to pick up a night one victory. Yeah, it wasn't exactly an offensive night either. It was cold and blustery here at Dell Diamond, but Sam Houston State came out hot. 15 hits. Four different players corrected, collected three hits. And interestingly enough, their preseason All-American, Carlos uh, Carlos Contreras had an offer. So, uh, all that considered, this is a team swinging at a 344 clip. Uh, Kansas State's going to have their hands full. Well, yesterday we saw K State fall to LSU. Wildcats can hit two KP, but they ran into a big leaguer in Paul mm. Skeens. They did, and they had their chance in the first. And honestly, that's that's when they had to get it because after that, Paul Skeens found it, and it was a little bit different story for K State. They can they can score runs, and they're not going to face that same arm. I mean, I, I think who they're going to face 60 feet away is a little bit different. But we talked to Pete Hughes before the game, and that was one thing he said. Like we we had a chance there. But I think you also know when you're facing somebody like Skeens, you're not going to get four or five chances. Yeah. He found it after that. Uh, Ty Rule came in, was good for a bit, but then LSU's bats heated up and ended up being too much Tigers yesterday. Well, today we could see big offensive output from both sides. Both of these starting pitchers tonight had a rough outing on weekend number one. For their sake, you hope they turn it around and hold these bats at bay. It is game four of the Carbach Round Rock Classic. Acing an 0-2 count. Hey, Wish, hey, Wish. Wentworth comes home. Mm. Ripped past the third baseman into left field. Cole Johnson tracks it down, brings it in, and it'll be runners on second and third for Sam Houston. A double by Wyshkowski. And that is not how you design an 0-2 pitch right there, KP. And Wentworth got barreled up last week, and now a couple knocks to start this one. Granted, the bunt hit by the leadoff hitter, Brewster, but that looked like a hanging breaking ball. I don't know, maybe a fastball trying to go away that catches too much of the plate. Actually, now that I see the replay and a missile down the line there by Wyshkowski. I was talking to assistant coach Shane Webb before the game, and he thinks Yannick could be the Team USA catcher this summer. Like He thinks he's that good, just as good as any catcher in the country. 1-1 one, one to left side. Nick Goodwin will throw to first. And the Bearcats plate Lane Brewster. one to nothing. Sam Houston. 2-2 pitch to right field. Rugely sees it bounce in front of him. An RBI single for Miles Jefferson. And Sam Houston extends the lead to 2-0. 2-0 the count. To Easton Lloyd. Pop up. Stay in the infield. Watch the mound. Oh, boy. Kansas State can't come up with it. And Sam Houston plates another run as Clayton Chadwick was sprinting the whole way with two outs on the board. It's three to nothing, Sam Houston. Let the pitcher catch the baseball. Okay. Would have hit him on top of his head. Fine, but just let him catch the, the baseball. The second baseman needs to call this ball. I it, totally agree. Salinas calls it too early. It's not going to be. Watch. Watch. Look at Day. Watch Day where Day's looking yeah, at Salinas. Look where Day ends up the closest. It's right in front of Day. Two zero pitch coming oh. in the left center. Johnson and Jones giving chase off wow. the wall. Here comes Redfield around to score. Four to nothing Bearcats. This is a pretty good offense. If that's that's the swings you're getting from your nine hole man right there, man, because that ball was juiced in left center, Burke. I mean that ball is smooshed. Like, like, just absolutely compressed off the top of the left center field wall. A no doubt double when his left is bad. The only question was, was it going to get into the bullpen? And Miles Jefferson is now five for six. Was doing a, a survey, a Q&A with some of the Sam Houston State Bearcats. And one of the questions that you were asking was you were trying to figure out, oh, hold on, go ahead. 
Ripped to left field, and that will get out of the park. Steven Schock will have to wait. Nick Goodwin goes yard. Schock was trying to get in on my home run call. We'll get back to him in a moment as Sam Houston State's lead is trimmed to four to one. Yeah, Shock was trying to get in on your home work call. Good one made a big swing like that. Well, we'll take one more look at that swing and then get back to Mike and Steven. But Nick Goodwin delivers the solo shot. Limited sample size. Biggest A-B of the year for him so far. And he puts this one into center. Uh-oh, uh-oh. field on. Uh-oh. Jefferson out, and nobody makes the grab. Two Wildcats score. Brady Day puts one into the outfield and allows his team to pull within a single run of Sam Houston. Boy, it just it looked like Redfield got a bad read on it. This is, again, we talked about the ball not carrying here at, at Dell Diamond very well this weekend. This is a ball that has way too much hang time to, to hit the turf. And you see Redfield pauses, doesn't see it. By the time he does, he's got a late break. Jefferson's there and, and you know, maybe a little worried about where's Redfield. He kind of falls as he goes to finish the playoff. The senior from Caracas. That solo shot in the seventh yesterday against LSU. His third home run of the year. First pitch drives it to left center. Diving. Contreras. Oh. And K-State has runners pass each other up. And that'll end the inning. Wow. Wow. Into left, Wyszkowski, oh. the wall, Johnson can't come up with it. Stand up double for Wyszkowski to begin the top of the night. I'd say they're happy to have him back in the lineup. Wyszkowski mm. missed the first weekend, they got him back in the midweek. Now three hits tonight, doubled the first, singled in the fourth, and this one Missed extending that lead by one by about four feet. A little breaking ball that hangs on the inside part of the plate. Cole Johnson looked like he was there and left. I mean, he was close enough to make that play. Instead, it's off the wall, and it goes for a leadoff double. Looking at Wyszkowski back at second. Contreras to the third base side. Salinas looks over, throws, bounces it in, and it gets away from Lotus. Wyszkowski will stop at third. Contreras... At second, well, if you can't get a hit, reaching by an error works just as well. This is Yannick. 0 for 4, rips one through the left side. Wyszkowski scores. Contreras scores. And Sam Houston's lead, back up to three runs. Another fine food-related sponsor of this tournament. They've got the food and drink sponsors down. They have nailed it. Here at the Round Rock Classic. Oh. Into right field. Rugely back at the wall. He'll watch it travel over. Easton Lloyd. A two-run bomb for Sam Houston State. When he touches home, that'll make it 8-3. to three. Bearcats. This offense just does not quit, KP. I mean, it is top to bottom. Easton Lloyd stays red hot, elevated, and see it high and let it fly, young man. A bomb onto the right field burn. Lloyd's first home run of the season. The Bearcat faithful rise to their feet. One, two, counts. We'll have to finish him off at first base. And the Bearcats pick up the victory over K-State. Sam Houston 2-0 in Round Rock.
and they'll face the top-ranked team in the country tomorrow with LSU as the late game on Sunday. Pretty impressive. The bats just continue to roll. 16 hits today, 15 hits yesterday. We saw the long ball from the Bearcats. We saw some small ball. And, of course, a huge defensive play from Contreras when they needed it the most. Now you roll into here. Um, I mean, they, they got 15 hits yesterday. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them against a kid that is the preseason Big Ten pitcher mm -hmm. here. Like, it, it, they're coming down here swinging it against some pretty good arms. They're obviously going to get another one tomorrow. But if you're Sam Houston State and it's sleep fast, let's go. you got a chance at the Tigers tomorrow. Yeah. They look really good so far.